Hello YouTube friends. I'm going to start this little series of videos. I won't be able to post this one for a while because I'm I'm working with clay, uh, which means that I have to do this process, then fire it, then glaze it, then fire it again. And so I'm going to do this in little lots of little pieces, this video. And the first part then is, uh, so what I'm making, I've got these lovely, lovely star cutters. Uh, I just bought them. I had some star cutters, but these ones are much nicer. I like how pointy they are. <laughs> anyway, what I'm making then is some porcelain stars for Christmas. It's going to take weeks because I have to take them to pottery in Newcastle on a Friday. I have to get the first lot of glazing done. Uh, I have to get the first lot of firing done, then I have to glaze them, then I have to fire them again, and then I may have to fire them a third time. Hi Norma. <laughs> so we're going to make a start. I've got all the bits and pieces that I need here. plus a cat. She's my little purr machine. Okay, what I'm going to invite you to do, Norma, because this is going to get a bit wet and sticky, I'm going to invite you to sit on that chair. Thank you. In, inside here then is porcelain clay. Now, a little while ago, I did a shop update where I listed some porcelain uh, bits and pieces and sold them all. Thank you. And this was the bag of porcelain that I made them from. I've got this much left. And so I'm going to roll out the bits of porcelain and make them into um, textured pieces using some of this textured, these little doilies that I've got, some of this textured lace and so on. And so let's make a start. So I've got this cutting wire. I'm doing this at home. If I was doing this at Pottery at College, where I go once a week, I would have all the equipment and all the tools that I need. And one of the things they've got there is a slab roller. I haven't got a slab roller. So what I've got is um, this wire, the porcelain here. And I'm just going to put the wire around the porcelain about, oh, I don't know, maybe half an inch three quarters of an inch something like that approximately just eyeballing it i just want to cut off one one small piece and then i'm going to pull this wire apart so it actually you can't see what it's doing but what it is going to allow me to do is peel off a piece of clay then i'm going to cover this back up again because the less it's exposed to the air, the better it is. Now, this is the porcelain in its raw form here. Actually, I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to do this with you there on the... Uh, I've got you balanced on a box with a, uh, a big um, tin of olive oil. Because what I need to do now is... Yeah, we'll try it. I need to hit it on the table. Because this kind of loosens up the clay that's been sitting for months, actually. I think I bought this clay about a year ago. But you can keep clay for a long time, as long as you wrap it up and keep it properly. So I'm going to... I'm going to do this in every direction. Already it feels looser. I've also got my spray water bottle and I'm just going to keep the thing moist so that it doesn't dry out. If I was at college I would have all of these things so I'm just sort of making do with what I've got here. Now these are some rulers I have and if I put three of them together it gives me um, that much, I don't know what that is, it's quite thin. It's not even a, it's about a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to put these two quarter inches either side of the 
uh, of the porcelain clay and then I've got the table covered over with canvas and I put another piece of canvas over the top there I'll bring these guides in now whoops a daisy better if I stand up actually stand up that's better I'm doing this on canvas because it doesn't stick to the canvas okay I'll cover it over with another bit of canvas it's just very very thick cotton and I'm going to roll this now until it hits the guides yeah that's hit the the rolling pin is now hitting those rulers so that's about right now this it doesn't have to be terribly accurate what am I doing I'm making little Christmas stars so you know if one's a bit thicker than the other I'm not making you know bowls or pots to drink out of that kind of thing I'm just making little decorations okay then so uh, let's see what should we use um, let's use this lace here that's got this lovely embroidery anglais pattern on it I'm going to put that down the side like that just press it on and then just roll it on with my rolling pin. Now you can get textured rolling pins but this is just as good and then when I pull that off I'll show you at the end it makes a beautiful um, embossed pattern in the clay which looks just like fabric So I've got you in on a different angle here and there's the textured slab and I'm going to come in and cut the stars and then the way that I make the little hanging hole I'm using a straw and I'll just choose whichever arm I want to put the hole in and I just put the straw through the little star and then I take that little bit out because I'll need to use the straw again okay so that's one and then if there's a little bit there where the star cutter won't fit I'm using a smaller star cutter to make the I've got an idea for what I want to do with those. So just like we were cutting out a pastry uh, biscuits or something like that, I'm just going to cut as many as I can out of here. Sort of lining up the pretty part of the pattern if I can. There's one there. And then, because I've got to transport these to Newcastle, which is about, I don't know, what is it, 30 miles? Something like that in the car. Because of that, I'm going to, I'll show you in a minute, I've got them in a, a plastic box with baking parchment in between each layer. I'll do a small one there as well. I think I can get one there. Oh yes I can. Oh no I can't. No. Okay. So I'll make a hole in the middle of that one. I'm making the holes in the middle of the small stars. Okay guys, the next time you see these will be when I'm doing the next stage of the process. I'm going to roll all these bits out now. Spray them with water and make a few more. <laughs> this is going to be several parts this video. That was part one.